Plenty of clunk in there. Crap. Put your, put your foot on there and yeah. you'll feel it. Check out just a hair higher so you can get a little movement on it. Yeah. Put your hand put your hand on the tire too and you'll definitely feel it. Look at that kind of hard. Boom, boom, boom. Without hitting the ground. <laughs> yeah. I think right at the end of the travel here, yeah. I can feel it. That's the actual company that makes this. Yes. Go. <laughs> Can't really get it to show up on camera at all. It's real slow. Sway bar bushing is actually missing on there, and the bracket that attaches to it is bent. Um, the other side, the link was loose on it. Well, the link right there was loose. We tighten that up. We were able to find those parts, and uh, we got them coming. Jonathan's under there replacing the airbag right now. Had to move the shock out of the way to get access to the bolts on it. This side, we got to look up the part number for a kingpin on it. Other side, the bearing's got some metal inside of the. So we have to check that out over there. This side felt pretty good, other than the kingpin play. Well, this hub doesn't pass the, the pinky test. We rub it in there. There's some metal shavings in there. So we're gonna pull it off and take a look at the bearings. In the middle of this is definitely filled with metal. Shavings. That's there. It's like a paste. So there's where the sway bar bushing is missing, and you can see the plate is bent and it mounts to, and it's broken. It's got a big, not just a crack, it's got a break. So we're going to bend it back in place. Weld it, and we're gonna put a stiffener uh, plate on the back to reinforce it. And then I found the kit online for the bushing kit that'll come with the bracket that goes on the sway bar and the bushing. So we'll get that all replaced. Cool stuff, huh? Is that diesel in there or is that gasoline? Diesel. Okay. Yeah, that's part of it. It's definitely glowing. A little bit more? Oh, I think that's pretty you, straight. You got a good angle on it, so. It's a cool off from it. Hold it. That was easier than I would have thought it would have been. Almost well, broke through all the hard parts. Yeah. <laughs>
for a bit? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I've ran out of. Again. Oh. Wait, grab it. Maybe it'll just pull out. Wishful thinking. <laughs> this should do it. I don't want to hit on top of that. How about that the hammer? Uh, wood part. Take it way over this way. Watch your step there, guys. Face down. I did my darndest to clean this thing. Is when the air conditioner ruptured. It was <laughs> solid heat. Oh, I brought it well, That's a good time to clean it. <laughs> yeah, I've got another can of clean. Yeah, the bottom one's out first. Just break them loose and break loose the top and make sure you got it. Otherwise you can be fighting a loose radiator. Uh, don't forget your ring. I guess the ring is right on this side. That one's just straight, right? Mm -hmm. So this was leaking here and over here on this side. Yeah, I can still, you can still yep. see black in there, right? Snug up the valve. Kingpin is all done. We're taking the tires all to a tire shop, get all new tires put on it. You guys are working on the airbags right now. There's six airbags back here, two on each of the tags, and then one on the drive axle. So the drive axle has like a swing arm, it pivots here, and there's one large airbag right there. It's very, very large. And then the regular tag, rolling load bag, and then there's a double convoluted that goes in the bottom that actually lifts the tag axle. So it uses air pressure to lift the tag. There's our brand new radiator. And then we gotta put the hydraulic cooler back in and then the charger cooler back in. There's a new sway bar bushing. We welded the crack on there and then we also put a piece of angle iron on there that we welded on to really stiffen it up there. So we put new bushings on both sides. The links are new. Uh, he had those replaced recently. Um, but we have an extra spare set for him now if he has an issue. But yeah, that turned out really good. Got our three quarter inch Milwaukee back from repair. Um, it's like a new case and everything on it. The whole thing looks new. Uh, the invoice said what they did to it. I'll have to find that real quick. But it would have been like $300 in repairs if we had to pay for it, but it was under warranty. This was the good bushing. It's worn all the way through on both sides there. 
had done its job, but it was completely worn out. Check on the tire alignment on here. We are currently almost a quarter inch toe in, and it should be a 16th toe in, I believe. We're gonna just check with the manual. But that's what most buses are usually anywhere from zero to a 16th toe in. So from neutral to 16th toe in, and we're a quarter inch toe in. Well, his tires were all 10 years old, so we went in and helped me get some new Toyo tires, the M170s. And then using the vehicle weights per axle plus the tire manufacturer's chart for those tires, we were able to adjust his tire pressures correctly based on his weight. Uh, he had been running 120 PSI in his tires, which the TPMS was telling him when they got heated up, they were 136 PSI going down the road. That is like rock hard. Some of his tire pressures with the weight he was at were down to 80 PSI is what they're set at. Um, 80 on the drives, 80 on the tags. Um, the tags actually should, should be 75 by the, uh, by the book. Um, but he, he wanted to just keep 80 and everything back there. And then the, the drive tires, we went to 90 PSI. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a much softer ride uh, because the tires aren't going to be so rock hard. Uh, and that's all, you know, per the tire manufacturer based on the amount of weight on each tire set up as either a single or a dual. Uh, so that'll help them out a lot. Well, we did a lot of extra work on this. We changed the thermostats in there, all the fluids, filters, fuel filters, everything. You guys close that up and then come give us a hand here. As if you start backing up into here? Yes, yeah, on that high part. That's good. And then stay to the outside here. Just aim for the outside. You're good over here. Should be going here pretty quick. Looks like I'm still building pressure. What is it? It's, it's, it's more than high enough though, right? To, yeah, it's at 120. Okay. That's plenty high. Stay to the outside here. Yeah. Very good. Nice, nice little brake pressure there. <laughs> Stay in the middle. We had a pretty good washout over here. We don't want you too close to that, so stay that way.
wondering what the air sound was. I didn't slam the door hard enough. That's what the loud yeah. air noise is. <laughs> Steering feels good. Does the ride feel nice and oh, smooth nice, with the tires? <laughs> the, those bumps are. So it's a 20 mile an hour speed limit that they strictly enforce right now. Yeah, 40 PSI less than your tires, it should be a lot smoother ride. Right? <laughs> How do you like those new tires, Scott? <laughs> right now they're, they're feeling good. Uh, <laughs> they feel a lot better than my checkbook. Yeah. Rip the handle off. Yeah, rip the handle off. <laughs> Usually, when this turns green, you'll have a green arrow. Okay. Through the dirty windshield. Yep. straight around the square that's all okay got us some highway speeds some turning some curves I just recommend staying to the left side of the road here when you make the right hand turn just because of that telephone pole and stuff the right hand turn but from further to the left. Yep. So is that window is it fogged in between the two layers of glass? Yeah. Oh that stinks. Yeah. Particularly it's yeah. flat though at least, but yeah, you gotta have somebody make that to have it insulated. Well they they will separate them and clean them and put them back together. was that sway bar noise happening before when you said you heard the clunk on the way here like was it yeah, every few on, seconds on or? the way no it was uh, going over bumps okay and it would even at times squeal so i think i imagine that was the bar rubbing against the yeah the mount. but it was clunking well there'll be a big 
bridge transition coming up here. I'm going to pay attention to that. They sit behind this berm where you can't see them. I'm sure they make some money for the town there. Yeah. As soon as you get to this sign, floor it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There you go. So I want to hit this bridge transition as much power as we can. Go ahead. Definitely no clunk. Yep, no clunking. Smooth. Maybe one the more wheel trick. as tight as can be. Nice and smooth, yeah. Yeah, this is smooth as riding this thing's ever been for me. <laughs> All it took was money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great tag. That's cold. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> oh, yeah. you keep an eye on those sway bar bushings and the links yeah since there's obviously a problem that's failed so many times before it might be the weight of the vehicle or I'm not really sure but now that we've reinforced it let's see how it holds up but I would definitely keep an eye on it of overshooting our driveway because it is not fun that one on that road. Oh. <laughs> Stay pretty wide on this corner. That rock? Yeah, we had one guy hit that rock. Oh, that's not a good thing. He was watching his tires, not the top. <laughs> yeah. Time trial here. Yeah, yeah, stop at the stoplight. All right. <laughs> Make sure you stay in the middle of the driveway and maybe a little slightly to the right where that got that washed out. out is. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah. in the bay. I'm not sure if that was a... You're good there. Slow down. <laughs> you wanted to really go fast all the way to the top. <laughs> there we go. We're here. All right, so we'll pull up in front of the, the shop. Um, just not pull you in. And then we'll take a peek under there. And... We left we had one little hiccup uh, about 50 miles down the road he reported a loss of power uh, I told him to check the charge uh, air cooler hoses since we had that off maybe one of those came off it sounded you know you lose the turbo boost that would be the problem he, he checked them and said no they felt like they were on I was a little concerned because the new radiator that we put in there had a little different dimensions on there and I thought well maybe it was rubbing on there and I put a hole in it or something I said, just come back we'll take a look at it he came back and instantly we just saw one of the charge air cooler hoses had blown out from underneath the clamp 
Uh, we were able to get everything seated real good. We put new clamps on it, tightened it down. Uh, he was good to go, made it back home safely, and reported back that the bus is the best it's ever felt. Uh, real, real happy with it. From a mile away, you can hear them play as they climb that hill with ease. But at the top of that mountain, there's a new life waiting for those who can make the run. They can make it to the top, Scott will put them in the shop till their new life has begun. Bus Grease Mountain, where the buses come to run. We're gonna get that big job done 